So in this video, we want to look at what linitis plastica is, right? Linitis, linitis plastica, okay? It is nothing but serous carcinoma of the gastrointestinal tract. So if you remember, in gastric carcinoma classification, you have seen conventional classification and based on depth. So in conventional classification, you have the early and the advanced. Again, in that you have macroscopic and microscopic pattern. So in the macroscopic subtypes, you have the ulcerative carcinoma, fungating polypoid carcinoma, serous carcinoma or linitis plastica, colloidal carcinoma and ulcer cancer. So what and all are there in macroscopic? Macroscopic, you have seen ulcerative, ulcer, fungating, colloid, serous carcinoma, etc. In microscopic pattern, you have tubular, papillary, signet, ring cell carcinoma, mucinous adenocarcinoma and adenocarcinoma, no specific type. So basically, this is the classification of uh, gastric carcinoma. As you can see, this is of the stomach, right? The gastric carcinoma. You can see here we have the serous carcinoma, linitis plastica. Linitis plastica is what we want to focus on today. So basically, what is a linitis plastica? So linitis plastica is nothing but the serous S-C-I-R-R-H-O-U-S, serous carcinoma, right? It is a macroscopic subtype of gastric carcinoma of the stomach, right? Or of the GIT. So it is a macroscopic subtype. So here what will be there in this pattern? The stomach wall is thickened due to extensive desmoplasia, giving the appearance of leather bottle stomach. Now this is interesting. So there is a stomach wall is thick, S-T-O-M-A-C-H, stomach wall it will be what? It will be thick, there is desmoplasia, there is a new term here, desmoplasia. So basically what appearance is there? Leather bottle stomach. Does it feel like a leather bottle stomach? Leather bottle stomach, okay. So that is why it is given this name linitis plastica. So the involvement may be localized to pyloric antrum or diffuse affecting the whole stomach from cardiac to pylorus. So it can either affect the uh, pyloric antrum or the entire stomach. So here you have the pyloric antrum. So either this part can be affected or the entire stomach diffusely can be affected. So basically what else you see here? It can be either uh, affecting the pyloric antrum or diffusely her whole stomach can be involved from the cardiac to the uh, pyloris. Okay, the lumen of the stomach is reduced. So the lumen of stomach will, what will happen? It will be reduced. There are no ulcers, but rugae are prominent. Rugae are prominent. So you can see here the rugae are very, very, very prominent in this. Right? The rugae look really prominent. Okay, histologically what will you see? That means under the microscope what will you see in this case? Linitis plastica. So basically it may be an adenocarcinoma or a signet ring cell carcinoma. So microscopically here you can either have those, you saw so many patterns, right? In that they are saying it can be an adenocarcinoma pattern or a signet ring cell Carcinoma. So either of these patterns you can see. Just remember the patterns again. Go back here. You remember in microscopy what and all patterns you have seen. You have seen the tubular pattern, papillary pattern, signet ring cell carcinoma, mucinous adenocarcinoma and adenocarcinoma. So here they are saying in serous carcinoma that is linitis plastica, you can either have signet ring cell carcinoma or the adenocarcinoma pattern, no specific type. Okay. So look at this one. This is a diagram showing the Signet ring cells. You can see signet ring cells, can't you? Look at this, signet ring cells. So something like this with a diamond or something like that, right? So it's a signet ring cell, right? Desmoplasia, they're showing some desmoplasia here. So this is the signet ring cell pattern. Now let us move on to the adenocarcinoma pattern. So in gastric adenocarcinoma, what do you see? You see this dysplastic epithelium, nuclear atypia, invasion into muscularis propria, normal glands, malignant glands, malignant glands, what you will see, nuclear atypia you are seeing, dysplastic epithelium. So the epithelium you can see it is slowly, this is normal epithelium, it is slowly becoming so dysplastic. Can you see it? This looks like normal and here you can see a lot of dysplastic epithelium, right? Dysplastic epithelium. Malignant gland, this is a normal gland, then you can see a malignant gland, you can see some blood vessels, you can see some 
muscle layer here then you can see the muscularis invasion into the muscularis propria so beyond this muscular layer lot of glands have come right so the invasion into muscularis propria this is and you can see nuclear atypia this is adenocarcinoma stomach guys another photo here so that completes um, linitis plastica guys so basically what you have to write here you know some keywords that they are, they will be looking for will be the rugae are prominent the stomach wall is thick leather bottle stomach pyloric antrum can be affected or even diffuse the whole uh, stomach A stomach of lumen will be reduced desmoplasia plasia growth of uh, fibrous tissue is called as desmoplasia rugae are prominent the lumen is reduced right lumen is reduced microscopically you will see adenocarcinoma or signet ring cell carcinoma and here due to this kind of uh, desmoplasia cancer cells are difficult to find remember to mention desmoplasia what exactly is desmoplasia if you are wondering see basically it is refer what do you mean by cirrhosis cirrhosis means hard okay hard or cirrhosis so here you are using the word cirrhosis carcinoma of stomach hard or cirrhosis and desmoplasia means excess connective tissue is called as desmoplasia okay so excess connective tissue desmoplasia excess connective tissue stroma and epithelial tumor is referred to as desmoplasia yes here it is an epithelial tumor <coughs> carcinoma it is right it is a gastric carcinoma so basically can we wind up this video have you understood everything about uh, linitis uh, linitis plastica so linitis plastica where exactly in the classification are you seeing you are seeing it in the macro uh, type uh, scopic subtype cirrhosis uh, carcinoma linitis plastica and uh, what else you are seeing in this the microscopy will be the signet ring cell carcinoma or the adenocarcinoma will be there then what else so you are going to see that uh, leather bottle stomach leather bottle stomach however you want you can remember please remember leather bottle stomach you have to write that word desmoplasia lumen of stomach is reduced rugae are prominent signet ring cell carcinoma adenocarcinoma desmoplasia pyloric antrum can be affected more okay stomach wall is thick cirrhosis carcinoma okay that's all for now in this video bye bye